In Kenya's capital, Nairobi, these Ukrainian artists are putting their painting skills to use to counter what they say is Russia's deceit regarding its aggression in Ukraine. The artists paint walls as well as public service vehicles known as matatus in Kenya. 22-year-old Alina Konik is among three Ukrainian artists working with Kenyan counterparts in this initiative. We come here uh, just to uh, have a friendship with you, uh, learn you more, and uh, just uh, for you understand uh, understand that Ukrainians are not a racist, Nazis, uh, and we just uh, human as uh, you. The artists also refer in their images to symbols of a free future for both Ukraine and Kenya, to national identity, strength and resilience. This matatu will be on the roads and everyone will see it from time to time. It'll encourage people to know what's going on in Ukraine, because I didn't know Ukraine had wheat and corn. But after this job, I learned a lot of things. Similar murals have already been painted in Austria, Germany, Belgium and France. Kenya is the first African country to which the artists have traveled to create the murals. The project was initiated by the Ukrainian Institute, the culture arm of the Ukrainian government. Between Ukraine and Kenya. Ukrainian ambassador to Kenya, Andriy Prevnink, uh, told VOA that his country is keen on creating relationships in Africa, especially in trade. We are actually planning to open additional embassies in Africa. We see a huge potential, uh, mutually beneficial for Ukraine and African countries because we are not going only to export our goods to Africa. We are going to work together and to import African goods. The Russian embassy in Kenya did not respond to an email seeking comment about the murals and the Ukrainian ambassador's remarks. Countering Russia in Africa is essential for Ukraine, say political analysts, especially because of propaganda aimed at making Africans believe that Russia was justified in its invasion last year. It is no doubt that everybody in the world today knows that Russia invaded Ukraine. Now, did the Ukraine use the PR enough for people who are probably not aware of what is happening there to know what happened? Absolutely not. Russia's invasion of Ukraine disrupted exports from both countries, leading to shortages and price hikes for food across many African countries. However, many African countries have refused to condemn the Russian invasion because of historical or political ties. With Africa facing such significant effects from the war, Ukrainian officials are hoping to shift the public's stance on the invasion in their favor. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.